Hey, welcome back to From the Tech Desk by RC Experts here at Horizon Hobby. I am your host, Brad Brooker. In today's video, we're going to walk through steps how to change the ESC slash receiver in your SX24. So you don't need any tools for this one, but you will need some double-sided tape to stick down the new two-in-one unit. We did remove the body to make it visually easy to see. We'll start by removing the motor lead from the two-in-one. Next, we'll remove the servo lead, then the LED lead. We'll take a flat blade screwdriver and gently pry the two-in-one unit off the chassis. Once you have the old one off, you'll grab your new one, some double-sided tape, put some double-sided tape on the bottom side of the new two-in-one unit. You'll install the exact same way the old one came off. Once you have it in place and secured, you'll take your motor lead and make sure you plug it in the motor lead slot. Take your steering servo and plug it in the steering channel. And again, also when you're doing that, make sure you have the brown wire down because that is your negative. You're going to grab your LED lights and your black wire is your negative, so that will be facing down as well. You put it in the auxiliary channel port. Once you have that in place, you'll grab your transmitter because you will have to bind the two-in-one unit to your transmitter now. So you'll hold the bind button on your transmitter, turn it on. Once it's starting to flash, it'll let you know it's in bind mode. You'll take your truck, plug it in. Once you turn it on, it'll bind to your transmitter. Once it's bound, make sure everything works correctly. There you go. There you have it. That's how quick and easy it is to change the two-in-one unit in your SCX24. Thanks again for watching. Stay tuned for more tips, tricks, and videos from RC experts here at Horizon Hobby.